All right, what's going on everybody over at Tasty's channel? How you guys all doing today? I'm that shitty commentator known as Retro, or as you guys may know me more as Matt, and I am back. Tasty let me do another commentary. I extremely appreciate it. I'm bringing you guys a really, really unique gameplay he got today. So, he got a no reload V2 rocket. Holy crap. He's playing Gridian on USS Texas, and man, this was just absolutely ludicrous and what makes this really interesting is the fact that uh, this map is just seems to be a, a total nightmare for for me at least with head glitches and stuff so as the fact he got this is just honestly man i can't even comprehend it i struggled to get on a 10 or a 15 gun streak and i'm not garbage either i mean i've gotten like you know like 20 30 nuclears on black ops 2 and some other games but for some reason with world war 2 it's just getting on a streak is really really hard so man I hope you guys do enjoy that in the background, and this is really unique because he's only allowed to pick up weapons from the ground, but he can't reload, so if he runs out of stuff, he's just got to keep picking up guns from the ground. If they have no ammo in them to begin with, then he's all he's all out of luck. He's screwed, basically. So he just picks up a bunch of weapons during this gameplay, and it's just it's absolutely crazy, man. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And Jesus Christ, man, World War II has had a lot of updates recently. I'm sure you guys have seen that with Prop Hunt and all this other stuff that has been attempting to, to keep the player base and try to keep people engaged. But is it actually doing that? And to be honest, I don't know. Because the thing is, with Activision, I think this was an executive decision by them. I don't know if it's by the developers. I'm going to assume not, though. What they've decided to do over the past, like, I think it's been three or four CODs, is not show the online player count. Which is really, really interesting, considering I believe that's trying to hide the fact that not many people are playing their game. And as a consumer, and as someone that's playing a game, for the most part, people want to play a game that is hot. That is popping, that is rising. No one wants to play a dead game. It's demotivating. And a game like Fortnite, that has announced that they've had 40 million downloads, stuff like that, that encourages people to go, you know, well, you know, man, wow, this, this game looks cool, I'm, I'm gonna go download this. With COD, it's like, man, you know, it's another passe, another old, faded away franchise. I don't want to touch World War II. And I think a lot of people would feel that if they knew how little people actually were playing. So it's an interesting thing that Activision has decided to do over the past few years. And to be honest, it's quite hard to believe that Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, some of those older games have actually done some work, believe it or not, to actually improve their player counts, which is kind of funny because they're so old. But, you know, over the past, I'd say, three or four years, if you notice during the Black Ops 2 updates, you guys noticed there was some extra DLC and stuff added even well after its life cycle. And now, I think people are still going back to enjoy that content and to utilize it. So, man, it's really something I genuinely am kind of puzzled by. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, of course, about this. And whether or not you think people are actually coming back to this with the new DLC. Or if it's just kind of part of the fad of the typical uh, trials and tribulations of COD that comes out every year. But if you guys did enjoy the video, comment down below hashtag bacon to prove you guys are still watching. Of course, you want to get as much engagement as possible. If you guys did enjoy, go and check out my channel down below in the description. No pressure, of course, only if you did enjoy the commentary. Thank you guys so much as always. My name is Retro, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.